Uh, so now I wanted to move on to some more interesting problems, right? Sure. I mean, what we have seen, we have we have seen um, current sources acting on resistors. Yes. What yes, happens if I put them with a capacitor? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the, my next problem that I want to look at. Okay. So current source and capacitors. Okay. So let's see, let's start with the, you know, the, the problem of if you have a voltage source and a capacitor, right? This is V of T <coughs> and this is some cap voltage Vc of T, uh, Vc of T equal to 0 minus is 0. Yes. Initially discharged, right? And if you wanted to analyze <coughs> this circuit, you would invariably have some small resistance. Yes. Some wire resistance will be there. It may be yes. like micro ohms, milli ohms, it doesn't matter. Effectively, it's like a low pass filter. Yes. Right. And then it this thing. Now, the question is, what happens if I have the following? I mean, not, not a voltage source, sorry. Okay. I have a capacitor, right? And I have a current source. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a okay. current source whose value is I naught. I naught. Okay. Some fixed current. Okay. This capacitor is zero. I mean, it's capacitor is C. C. So, of course, if this capacitor is initially discharged, mm -hmm. then there is nothing to do, nothing Correct. to be done, right? So, the capacitor will just remain at zero. This current um, current will have not, will not have any meaning there actually, right? We must be careful about uh, thing. So, let us look at this scenario. I am going to put a switch now and put a voltage source here. Okay. This switch has been closed or, or, or I do the other way. Well, if you actually had uh, ah. uh, technically, yeah. I guess even if you did not have the switch and the voltage source, yeah. the capacitor voltage can go negative in yes. this scenario. Yes. We are, we have not seen situations like that in yes. this course. We have not seen. Uh, so, exactly. Right. right? <coughs> exactly. Absolutely. So, uh, in fact, I was going to come to that. We'll, we'll come to that. Case Maybe we'll do this yeah, uh, more we'll straightforward case exactly, now. Right. So, this is a DC source. Yes. This, uh, this I'm going, the switch was closed for a long time. Yes. Okay. So, at T equal to zero, the switch is being opened. Right. And likewise, I have to put a switch here. Yes. <coughs> and then close this at T equal to zero. Yes. Okay, so the yeah yes, and by the way, to be exact from circuit theory point of view, you'll learn, you'll now have to put a switch so that the current source is not open circuited before t equal to zero. Uh, so yes. uh, at t equal to zero, if the switch is open, you can't open circuit a current source. Yes, yes. So yes, you now exactly. need a switch in <laughs> yeah, parallel. Exactly. It, it can get very complicated if uh, yeah. this uh, you know if you want to be exact, but we want, understand the idea. Yeah, the, the, uh, <laughs> the, let's assume that this is an ideal current source exactly. that doesn't. Or, or maybe we can make the current source a step to avoid that. You can yes. have step pulled current sources. Yes, so people exactly. can think of that as well. Exactly. Right. Yes. So anyway, so you have VDD, right? And then this capacitor voltage VC of T by virtue of the switch, switch S1. Yes. And S2. By virtue of S1 being closed for a long time, you have given mm -hmm. it till eternity, that low pass filter basically charges the capacitor yes. all the way to VDD. VDD. Right? Yes. Which means you can safely assume VC of T equal to 0 minus yes. equals VDD. VDD. Okay. Perfect. This is what we have. Now, S2 is closed, S1 okay. is opened out. Yes. Right? And therefore, the voltage source is now gone. And all you have is, I'll just draw that circuit for T greater than 0. Yes. I basically have a capacitor with a current source, okay, whose value is I0. This is C. Vc of T equal to 0 minus equals Vdd. Yes. Okay. So now, what do you think? So intuitively, before we get into the analysis, you know, of course, we're going to write a differential equation, solve it and all. But sure. what is your intuition of what will happen to the voltage of the capacitor? Mm. 
So maybe we should write the equation of the capacitor because we know the current. Yeah. Maybe we should write the differential equation and then find out. Okay. <coughs> so no, my but, uh, my yeah. my gut feeling yeah. is that I am pulling out a current. So yeah. basically I am taking out charge. Charge. So the capacitor should definitely get discharged. Yes. So the voltage should be going downwards. Should be going downwards. Should be going downwards. Yes. Um, the exact uh, expression for yeah. how it goes down with time, yeah. we should look at the equation of the capacitor. Right. But exactly. we can say that the capacitor is definitely going to get discharged. It's going to get discharged. Yes. And all the way down to zero. All the way down to zero. All right. Now the question is in what, what is the time equation? Yes. Right. We, we saw that when you try put in a voltage source, it went exponential. That's right. Will this go exponentially? How will it go? Yes. Right. That's the key idea here. Right. So what you are, you basically said is that the, the charge instantaneous charge in the capacitor is C into VC of T. Yes. Right. Yes. And what the current is doing is slowly making this thing go <coughs> down off. It will go down by some delta Q. Correct. If you wait for some time. Yes. I, I not into T. Yes. So basically you wait for some delta T. Yeah. It will go down by delta Q. Exactly. Right. right. And this delta <coughs> Q is I not into delta T. Delta T. Correct. Okay. Correct. So <coughs> if you wait, you lose that much charge. Right. And that <coughs> has to be accounted for only by VC of T going down by delta Vc of T. That's right, yes. Right? <coughs> so, if the charge has to go down the capacitor, so should the voltage. Because yes. the charge voltage equation is related by the capacitance. So, the capacitance Correct. is not changing with time. Yes. Right? So, effectively, what we see is that the current dVc of T, okay, let's go back and put in the sign correctly. This is plus, this is minus. Yes. We are assuming that capacitor current is going into the capacitor. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, C dV, I would say. This is IC. Into the capacitor. Yes. Okay. But our current source is actually pulling current out of the capacitor. Right? That's right. So, therefore, if you want, and the two currents have to be equal. Equal, equal because they have to satisfy KCL. Exactly, KCL. So, this has to be equal to minus I naught. I naught. Perfect. So, that sign is important here to get the discharge of the capacitor right. Okay. So, you have C D V C of T by D T equals minus I naught. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, what is going to happen? We want to figure out the equation of the capacitor voltage with yes. respect to time. Okay. So, really that is all the differential equation is and yes. therefore this is pretty straightforward. I just do dVc of T equals minus I naught by C into dt. dt. Yes. Right. And then I will just integrate this. Yes. Do an indefinite integral. Vc of T is minus I naught by C into T into t plus a constant plus some constant t. okay yeah we know that <coughs> at t equal to 0 yes vc of t equals vdd yes because we charged it initially Correct. right Correct. if not then it would all be zero and this it just it will remain, it, it remain like that or charge negative also theoretically yes, exactly right, right? <laughs> exactly correct exactly right so we just go ahead and substitute this equation yes and you will find that Vc of t is Vdd minus I naught by C times t. t. Perfect. So, this as opposed to the voltage source trying to yes. charge the capacitor. Actually, we should plot this. We should plot this, right? right. This is first of all, clearly it is not exponential. In fact, it looks like an equation for a straight line. Exactly. This looks like y equal to mx plus c. Yes. Okay, that is the exact point. So, the slope is negative. So, yes. clearly that shows that the voltage is reducing. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is Vc of t as a function of time. Initially at t equal to 0, the capacitor voltage is at Vdd. Yes. Right, and <coughs> if you wait for how much time you got to wait for Vc of t to go to 0. zero yes. That is C Vdd by I naught. I naught. That is right. right. <laughs> so, between these two points, 
right? Yes. If you look at this. This is t equal to c v d d by i naught. Yes. It's a straight line. Okay, starting at v d d d. Slope of this line equals minus i naught by c c. Yes. Okay. So effectively, what this is saying is, if you have a higher current source, if current mm -hmm. is larger, it will discharge faster. Faster, right? Yes. And that means the slope is going to be more negative, and it will just pull it down quickly. Right. Lower the current, it's going to take much. It's going to take longer for it to this thing. So uh, this is very different from that exponential. That's right. Charger. This is more like a linear. Uh, this is a linear thing, right? So in the exponential charger, the process was asymptotic. Yes, it would actually never get to V D D or down to zero in finite time. It yes. would take you would have to wait till eternity. Yes, right? whereas the current source can technically discharge it. That's right. Down to zero in finite time. That's right. right? That's right. So, uh, so now we'll come to your case of this. You know, slightly, uh, I would say the interesting corner cases. Right? Yes. Now, what if instead of this. Voltage uh, current source here, uh, trying to discharge a capacitor. Yes. What if I tried the opposite? Okay. I'm going to put a current source. Capacitor is initially discharged. Yes. <coughs> this is I naught. Okay. And this is V C of T. Okay? Yes. V C of zero minus equal to zero. Now. Okay. What is your guess here? What will oh, happen? Oh, my guess is that see now I'm charging the capacitor. Yeah. In a you know charge is going into the capacitor, yes. so my guess is that it should be a straight line with the voltage increasing. Exactly, right? So and because the initial condition is zero, yeah, my guess is that uh, it should start from zero and it will just be a so, straight line. Exactly. So C C D V C by D T is now going to be is just I naught, no minus, okay. right? Yes, it's just I naught implies V C of T equals I naught by C times T into And right. now we said the initial condition is zero. Yes. So there is no constant there of integration. There is no constant, right? We right. substitute that, and effectively this is what you get. So the point here is that V C of t, if I plot as a function of time, it starts with zero, simply goes up. Yes. Now the question I have is, you know, in the previous case and here, what if I wait beyond C V D D by I naught in the previous case? Yes. And what happens here if I just wait till wait uh, eternity? Yes. So if I look at uh, ideal current source and ideal capacitor, it can it will just keep charging. It will just so keep infinity, charging, right? Right. Similarly, in the previous case, if I looked at ideal capacitor and ideal current source, it will keep discharging to negative, uh, negative voltages, voltages. No. right? So because K V L always the assumption is that K V L is always satisfied K V L K C L, so it will just keep discharging. Exactly. So now the question is in reality yes what is what is it that sort of you know there are some right. non idealities which will prevent this from happening absolutely what are they so there are a bunch of things i can imagine so um, so obviously the voltage across the capacitor is increasing yeah so i can imagine something breaking down inside the capacitor because yeah. now i'm trying to uh, well we have not seen the power and energy yes but i am trying to store more and more energy inside the capacitor It might not be able to handle exactly. it. Exactly. So that right. there is a rating of the capacitor <laughs> which can prevent this from That's going right. on forever. That's it'll, right. It will break down. It will blow up. That's right. Uh, what about the current source? The yes. current source we are assuming <coughs> can provide the same current I naught independent of the voltage. Of the voltage. <laughs> is yes. that true? Yes. So if you take a practical current source, that's not true. Yes. Right. Exactly. So uh, we will, I think, most likely in the next uh, uh, term, they will start seeing these non-idealities in of the current sources exactly. and voltage sources. Exactly. Because even in the case where we looked at voltage source sources charging capacitors, you never have an ideal voltage source in in practice. Exactly. It will right. always have some resistance, some losses, some and loss. so on. Exactly. Right. So effectively, <laughs> this equation of you know this linear equation and all is. Is an idealized idealized current source. Yes. In reality, this <coughs> current source cannot provide I naught all the way to any. Of course. You know any voltage. So of course. Beyond yeah. a point, when you start exceeding a certain voltage, the current will start dropping. Of course. Effectively, it start dropping for a practical system. Yeah, and therefore Correct. that will also start saturating. Yes. In, in reality, okay. Yeah. So that is one this thing.